The drive along Beverly and Mulac Beach gives you the first glimpse of historic Newport and a distant view of its most famous landmark, the Aquinahead Lighthouse. Perched on a narrow point of land at the north end of Newport, the Aquinahead Light has withstood more than a century of high winds and rain. It has guided mariners since its construction in 1872. Visitors can climb the 114 steps to the Lantern Room that once displayed an oil-burning fixed white light. Today, a fully automated first-order Fresnel lens flashes a unique pattern 24 hours a day. It is Oregon's tallest lighthouse with a 93-foot tower. The Aquina Head Outstanding Natural Area is the home of Quarry Cove, a former rock quarry converted to a man-made system of living tide pools. The Interpretive Center, only a short walking distance away, has exhibits related to many features of the area, from above and beneath the sea. A lighthouse tour in Newport must also include the Aquina Bay Light, atop a bluff at the mouth of the Aquina River. Built in 1871, its light only shone for a short three years. It is believed to be the oldest structure in Newport and the only wooden lighthouse on the Oregon coast still standing. Inside, two flights of stairs lead to the watch room. It is also the only existing lighthouse that includes living quarters. They say a ghost named Muriel still roams about the structure. The legendary story is available in the gift shop. Just a few blocks to the north is Nye Beach. Historically, one of the finest vacation spots on the Oregon coast. For over a hundred years, people from Portland and the Willamette Valley have been coming to this favorite place to seek solace in and alongside the waters of the Pacific. Stop in for a cup of tea and stroll through the shops. The Newport Seafood and Wine Festival has become the biggest three-day event on the Central Coast. Held at South Beach on the south end of the Aquina Bay Bridge. Regardless of the weather, long lines form along the docks. And visitors from the other side of the bay arrive by boat. The festival draws visitors from all over the world to sample seafood delicacies and some of Oregon's finest wines.
There are year-round attractions at South Beach, including the Hatfield Marine Science Center and the Oregon Coast Aquarium, home to more than 15,000 marine animals. Visitors can submerge themselves into this aquatic wonderland through a glass tunnel and a 360-degree view of life beneath the sea. And there's plenty of ocean bounty. Newport is known as the Dungeness Crab Capital of the World. Okay. Drop a pot offshore or from a dock on the bay. Yeah, he's a keeper. This area of the coast is also known for its excellent salmon and halibut fishing. The salmon season runs through October and coho until the end of August. Newport is home for one of the largest commercial fishing fleets on the coast. Take an excursion around the bay and offshore by boat. Marine Discovery Tours offer a trip that includes naturalist guides, providing narratives on marine life, both in the harbor and beyond the Aquina Bay Bar. Newport's historic bayfront is an experience in itself. The narrow boulevard passes by shops, restaurants, galleries, and commercial canneries and fish packing plants. An excursion here is best by foot. The Oregon Coast History Center will give you an insight into the early settlement of Oregon's central coast. The Burroughs House, built in 1895, once a boarding house and a funeral parlor, is now the home of the Lincoln County Historical Society. It was moved to this location from across Highway 101 in 1976. 